Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcon. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint the blood drop gems from Blood Angel Space Marines. The first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mephiston Red. And all you're going to do with that is leave a nice smooth layer of Mephiston Red on the teardrop or blood drop shape of the gem. So we find it easier, as always, dragging away from the point. If you do one side, then flip it over the other way. You can do the other side nice and easy. If you've got a figure, it's easy enough to do that too, because you can just turn the base around so you're holding the figure the opposite way. Once you've got the nice smooth layer on, you can move on to the next colour. So next up, we're just going to shade that with a little bit of Citadel Druchy Violet. So you just want to make sure that you get the Druchy Violet all the way round so that it sits in that recess where it joins onto what be, would be the kind of golden trim that you'd have around the edges of it. So you make sure you get enough Druchy Violet on it that you have that darkened edge to the red. Like so. I'm just going to use Citadel and the Fist on red again. Rather than applying it to the whole of the blood drop, you're just going to do it to sort of the top, going around the bottom in a kind of opposite J shape, like a backwards J. And you want to leave just a little bit, like a kind of triangle thinner at the top, wider at the bottom, on the top right of it, with that shaded Druchy Violet colour because that'll be the darkened part of the gem. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to paint the whole thing with Mephisto on red, you can add the darker patch later on by using Druchy Violet. And if you really want to go to town on it, you can do a couple of layers of Druchy Violet so that you get that darkening layer going up to the top right corner where you're going to put the little reflective dots of light. But for now, the easiest way, I think, is to do the backwards J on the bottom part. Now, we're going to mix a little bit of white with the Mephist on red, just to lighten that colour a little bit. And then we're going to go over the area that we've just covered with Mephist on red. We're just going to go over about maybe three quarters or two thirds of that with this new shade. And that is just to add the first of the highlights to it. Now sometimes when you mix it, you might find that it's not quite light enough. You might want to add a little bit more white or it's a bit too light. You just add a little bit more red so it doesn't stand out too much. Whichever way you want to go about it, just get that nice little highlight on there. Once you finish that, you can move on to the next colour. If at any point you do go over the edge or you go over one of the other colours completely or need to alter it at all, just get the previous shade on and just tweak that as you're going along. It'll make it easier in the long run rather than kind of do quite a few different tweaks at the very end of it. Now this is a really, really old video of doing gems from quite some time ago. If you want me to do a video on how to paint these gems, I can do a really quick, straightforward one. Or using the eye lenses for one of the nights, you can get a really good look of how it's meant to look on them. And then you can shrink that down onto the smaller lenses on kind of dreadnoughts or space marine weaponry and that kind of thing. So let me know if you want any of those kind of vids because they're, they're quite simple to do. I'm just trying to take me time on this and get it as spot on as I can. I was painting this, kept having to check the screen to look at it because when I'm painting with the camera, it's actually easier for me to see it clearly on the camera than it is to see it on the actual model itself. So if it stops and it shows it there, that's just bear with me. That's just my eyes looking at the screen. Checking how it looks close up. Like so. So next up, we're going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. And again, we're going to do about two thirds of the previous area with this new shade. Again, you wanted to have just lightened that up a little bit. Nice close up on my fingers there. Not quite the gem that it should be in the way. So 
So you can see that lighter reflection on the left hand side there really coming together. Just tweak that and get that smooth on the inside too. It's easy to get it smooth down on one side because you're doing it, kind of dragging it, but try and get that smooth on the inside too. As I say, if you do happen to get any of this layer or one of the next layers on any of the others and cross them over, just use a bit of the previous mix and just touch that up as you go. Now we're going to add a little bit more white to it. Once more, we're going to be doing about two thirds of the previous highlight. like so. Now I'm just going to use a tiny spot of Vallejo white. And this is just to put the final little spot of light onto the gem itself. So I'm going to do two little dots at the top right here. So you want them smack bang in the middle of the darker part of the gem. Like so. Once you've got those in place, you're just going to do a tiny little thin streak down the left hand side of the gem as well. Not all the way down. But just a little bit down that left hand side and curl it around the bottom. I'll just give you the look that it's reflecting the light. Give it quite a nice kind of reflection going on. And I wasn't quite happy with how that was looking, so we're going to just put a really thin sliver of Citadel and Fist on red just to the right of those highlighted areas because I think it should have a little bit more red blending back into the darkness. So I'm just using same brush, it's an army painter wargamer character brush. I'm just going to put a tiny little spot of this red back on. And touch that up like so. So here's the finished blood drop gem. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It looks pretty nice. It's a pretty straightforward way to do it. Now what I usually do, and what I'm going to do in this little section here, is add some Citadel gloss varnish to it and that just gives it an all over shine now although you can matte varnish it and just use the paint so that it looks like it has that shine and reflection on anyway what I tend to do for my miniatures is once I've painted it like that I'll just add a little bit of gloss varnish and that just gives it that natural shine to it as well now it doesn't photograph very well as you'll see from the photograph after this bit which I put up by way of example but it does kind of bring those colours together and give it that deeper gem type look I think. So this is what it looks like when you've put the gloss varnish on. Completely obscures all the highlights. So you don't really want to be taking pictures of it after you've done that. But I did want to show you the difference between the gloss and the non-gloss versions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support us, you can head to our coffee page linked below where you can buy us a brew. Thanks very much.